all right everybody welcome to my youtube channel go ahead and like comment and subscribe on this video and if you're new go ahead and ring that post bell notification so you know every time i post thank you for today's sponsor who is still nobody because i'm still not getting paid please sponsor me anyways let's go ahead and get well actually before i even get in there um into the video let's go ahead and discuss something because i'm not sure if it was just my school that did this or if it was all of them but did y'all have like bus drills like in the middle of the day like i think once every semester and then once before you go to on a field trip or something because our school had that and i'm not really sure why but anyways so if you didn't what they would do is have like a class or two sit on a bus and then the bus driver will turn on the bus alarm and then she will tell you to get up and then jump off the back of the bus and it was pretty fun but it doesn't matter anyways so that's going to be something or some prior knowledge that you need to know before we get into this video all right so you already know i'm going to be talking about the same bus driver if you haven't watched my other video please go ahead and click in the description box below and maybe in the little eye icon if i put it up there but it's definitely going to be in the description box so this is the same bus driver, you already know, the crazy one, the mean one, they're the same person. And this time, it's a bit different. So, you know, I'm up 6 o'clock in the morning waiting for the bus. She's always late, but she's late by different times. Like sometimes it'll be like 10 minutes or 30 minutes, like you don't know. So you're always standing out there until she gets there. Anyways, so I'm waiting for the bus. And I get on the bus and I'm like, okay, cool. About to do my homework. Get ready up. And, you know, I'm doing my homework and then the alarm come on, comes on. You know, for the bus drills, like when we do the bus drills, they're like, get off the bus. Because when you hear this alarm, you know, get off. Because that means something's wrong with the bus. Imagine hearing this sound. Annoying, right? So yeah, that alarm's going off and I'm like, hmm, I think we should get off the bus. <laughs> right and i'm telling the teacher i'm like hey teacher or bus driver whatever i'm like hey maybe we should get off the bus you know <laughs> oh i forgot to tell y'all okay so like a week or two before um this incident happened like one of the buses at my school actually you know burst into flames so you already know i was panicking because i was like what if our bus does the same thing like it's not unprecedented like it happened before so it might happen again anyways so i'm on the bus and i'm like hey maybe we should get off you know this might be serious especially what happened you know two weeks ago and she's like no no it's fine it was doing this yesterday like we'll survive you know <laughs> we're gonna make it and i'm like okay but did you not see what happened to the other students bus and do you not remember the training we had where you told us to get off the bus if you heard this sound? You know, go ahead and open up the back door, pull over, so we don't end up in a situation like that. And she's like, no, you're gonna be fine. And then the kids on the bus were like, yeah, this happened yesterday, this is normal. And I was like, um, maybe it's not supposed to be normal. You know, what if this could be something big? I mean, yeah, it was a miracle you guys got home yesterday, but we don't know what's gonna happen today. Like anything can happen, okay? I just know that when the bus alarm comes on, we are supposed to get off. So we're arguing kind of back and forth. I'm like, please pull over. She's like, no. The kids are like, mm, maybe she should. This does sound kind of serious. So yeah, finally she pulls over and then our bus breaks down. And it was, it was pretty nice, you know, I was like, ha, huh, I told you something was going to happen. But anyways, so the bus breaks down and it's the middle of winter and it's 25 degrees outside and we have no heat and we're stuck outside, you know, on a bus with no heat. Did I mention no heat? Okay. So we're stuck outside. She's calling the people. She's like, yeah, our bus broke down. Go ahead and call a replacement for us. And the man on the phone was like, Nah, you'll probably be fine. I'll be out there in like a couple minutes. Yeah, those minutes turned into an hour. We were out there for an hour before the repair man got there. And then he got there and he looked at our bus and he was like, mm, 
Yeah, it's pretty broken. I'm gonna bring you a replacement. I'm like, you didn't think to bring us a replacement before this? We told you that the bus was not turning on. Why would you think, yeah, they don't need a replacement bus? Okay, so you know, he left for like another hour and it's still cold out there and classes were about to begin. So I was like, oh, well, since we're already missing school, might as well miss a little bit more, right? So the bus guy came back with the bus and it was one of those old school buses, which again, didn't have heat and that you had to like manually open and close the door. Yeah, that was fun. So middle of winter, no heat. And guess what this, <laughs> guess what this lady wanted to do? Go ahead, guess, I'm gonna give you three seconds. Yes, she wanted to pick up the imaginary kids on the bus route. We're already two hours late. And she said, I gotta go pick up these kids. You already know I gotta get these kids. Like, there might be still out there waiting for me or something. Nobody is waiting for you. One, it's cold outside. Two, it's two hours late. Nobody is still gonna be out there. They're either on their way to school now or they're not going to school today. They are not gonna wait two hours to get you. So, <clears throat> Yes, she decided to drive around, you know, in this bus without heat. We we're already without heat for like two hours. And now she wants to drive around this bus with no heat, you know, picking up these imaginary kids again. And I, she gets on my nerves so much, or she did. I don't know if she still works there. But anyways, so we're driving around picking up these imaginary kids and we get to school. And then the school heater was broken. So they were like, oh yeah, if you got like hats and scarves, like you can break dress code today, just so you can, you know, be warm. And I'm like, oh, thanks. Yeah, but I wasn't warm on that bus. So I'm definitely not gonna be warm right now. So yeah, the heater was broken for like, I don't know, like a month or like a couple weeks or so. And then like, for me, I was in orchestra. So my hut, thing was outside so you know it was already colder in there and then we would have to walk in the cold to the school that was also cold so yeah i really hope you enjoyed this story of the bus driver um i might be able to get one of my friends to also talk about her bus driver or like the situation that happened anyways we're just gonna go ahead or I'm gonna go ahead and end this video right here. Hi. <laughs> Please like, comment, share, and subscribe this video. Subscribe if you haven't already. And we'll see you next video. One Bye. like equals one Oreo for me. Yummy. Bye. Bye.